Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So a lot of you guys saw the video I posted yesterday of the Go Rhino RC4 front bull bar bumper here that I installed on the 4Runner. I posted it yesterday and I had it up for just a few hours and for the first time ever I retracted the video. I unlisted it not because of the the feedback that I was getting on there. I mean I expected, I really did expect like 50-50 people either hating it or totally loving it. So I got exactly what I expected. The, the reason I retracted it though was I wasn't really able to respond to you guys and, and respond in honest fashion to a lot of your comments. Um, you know, a lot of you were you know, asking, hey, you know, you know, could you can you send a link to it? I'm happy to do that. But I mean, like, hey, why did you pursue one of these? Because a lot of you had been sticking around on my channel for a while. You definitely remember my 2013 FJ Cruiser Trail teams that I had, the cement gray one that I bought, the, the one with about 60,000 miles on it. It came with a Tiger front bull bar bumper. And I hated that thing. I like, despised it. Every time I took a video of that rig, you can go check them out, I was kind of meowed about it. Because I thought it took away from the vehicle. Uh, it just looked, it didn't look the part. You know, it kind of, you know, it hinders the approach angle on the rigs. Uh, especially if you're getting a TRD Pro, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right to put a bull bumper on it. And I still feel that way. So I wasn't able to respond to you guys and you guys know I try to respond to all of your comments uh, but I wasn't honestly able to respond in transparent form on a lot of it because you know the way I shaped that video was was hey I'm, I'm super stoked about this product I love it it's great cool and that wasn't you know that's not 110% honest you know I mean I got it because admittedly Go Rhino reached out to me and said hey I appreciate you doing the videos of your uh, RB20 running boards that you put on your uh, Tundra they appreciate the fact that, you know, I bought this before I bought it for my 2020 Army Green Tundra TD Pro. I said, hey, we appreciate that. Would you would you be open to doing a, uh, a you know, a couple reviews on a couple other of our products? I was like, heck yeah. So they sent it to me for free. And I think, it, I think it's, I'm not doing you guys any service by, you know, even painting it any other way. So, I mean, they gave it to me for free, which is really cool. I'm super grateful for them to have done that and offered that up. Um... And I figured, you know, even though I don't like bull bars, it was worth trying out. I've never, I don't know, I don't think I've even seen maybe a handful of forerunners with bull bars. It's just not a common sight, I don't think. But I figured it's worth trying. I, I love the RB20. I love these things. They're, they're extremely well built. Perhaps this would change my thoughts and feelings about the bull bar if I put it on and it was awesome and amazing. But it didn't, if I'm being totally honest with you guys. I don't like these, I think. I don't know, I, I do think it, I stand by my previous thoughts. I, I think it kind of takes away from the Forerunner. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, it kind of, it hinders this off-road off prowess, if you will. I mean, it hinders your approach angle a little bit. Not by a lot, okay, but it does. Um, I think if, you know, for the people who do like bull bars, and, and judging just based off that video I did the other day, really it looks like half of you do you know half the people commenting seem to love it uh, but then I, of course the other half absolutely despised it so for those of you who do like bull bars I absolutely recommend reaching out to go right now and checking them out you know give them a look first because I do think they make a very good product I stand by that um, you know even with that tiger one that I had on the FJ there was a whole lot of uh uh, defects throughout it. So I mean, it had like little like bubbles underneath the the powder coat, almost as if you know maybe it was like beginning to rust underneath in a few spots. So I definitely did not like the Tiger one at all. But this one I think is extremely well built. No defects, no blemishes that I saw uh, as we unboxed it. And not to mention, and, and I think classic Go Rhino form, it comes extremely well put together. Um, you know, well packaged I should say, um, and with great instructions. And I'm not kidding when I tell you, it took just over an hour to install the entire thing. And that included actually unpackaging all the bits, you know, getting all the bolts laid out, uh, and getting it all sorted. So super easy to install, great instructions, and, and, and I do stand by the fact that this is a well put together product. So if you are the type of person to, to really like bull bars, absolutely reach out to Go Rhino, not to mention, you know, you know, they did offer, uh, they're offering you guys that 10% off discount. If you just use that discount code UNTAMED, uh, they'll, they'll offer that 10% to you on anything that you buy, not just the, the, the bull bar. But if you were to get the side steps over there, which I highly, highly recommend, the RB20s. I think, I really do think they're the best side step that you can get for the Tundra. 
but at any product that you get from them, uh, they'll offer that up to you. So in my personal opinion, if anyone were to put a bumper on a 4Runner, let alone a 4Runner Charity Pro, I think most appropriately it needs to be a full up high profile bumper that improves your clearance, that improves your approach angle, like you're, like you're replacing the front bumper with a full steel metal bumper. Uh, that's, that's the direction I would lean. And I think Gorano even has those as well. I haven't looked too deep into their website, but I think they even have that. Um, but regardless, I just wanted to walk you guys through that and give you some additional transparency, if you will. Um, I will unfortunately be taking this off uh, as, like I said, just not, not a huge fan of the look. Like it almost has a, a little bit of an underbite, but like I said, different strokes for different folks. Some people love it. So uh, I, I don't want you to take this video as a, as a naysay for it. And if you like it, absolutely consider giving them a look. So appreciate you guys watching. Until next time.